Section 6. Counsel to Burden Bearers Counsel to Burden Bearers As every man hath received the gift, even so minister the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. 1 Peter 4.10 Chapter 1. Ministers and Business Matters I have been instructed in regard to the importance of our ministers keeping free from responsibilities that should be largely borne by businessmen. In the night season, I was in an assembly consisting of a number of our brethren who bear the burden of the work. They were deeply perplexed over financial affairs and were consulting as to how the work could be managed most successfully. Some thought that the number of workers might be limited, and yet all the results essential be realized. One of the brethren occupying a position of responsibility was explaining his plans and stating what he desired to see accomplished. Several others presented matters for consideration. Then one of dignity and authority arose and proceeded to state principles for our guidance. To several ministers, the speaker said, Your work is not the management of financial matters. It is not wise for you to undertake this. God has burdens for you to bear, but if you carry lines of work for which you are not adapted, your efforts in presenting the word will prove unsuccessful. This will bring upon you discouragement that will disqualify you for the very work you should do, a work requiring careful discrimination and sound, unselfish judgment. Those who are employed to write and to speak the word should attend fewer committee meetings. They should entrust many minor matters to men of business ability, and thus avoid being kept on a constant strain that robs the mind of its natural vigor. They should give far more attention to the preservation of physical health, for vigor of mind depends largely upon vigor of body. Proper periods of sleep and rest and an abundance of physical exercise are essential to health of body and mind. To rob nature of her hours for rest and recuperation by allowing one man to do the work of four, or of three, or even two, will result in irreparable loss. 